the Lakers and the Warriors. With Bob Myers, we'll send you out to Mike Breen on the call. Welcome to the beautiful Bay Area and the city of San Francisco. NBA preseason action tonight. It's the Warriors and the Lakers, two teams that feature two of the all-time greats. Here at the Chase Center, LeBron James entering his 22nd season in the NBA. Steph Curry, of course, entering his 16th season in the NBA. And neither one of them will play tonight. That is NBA preseason basketball at its best. Hello, everyone, along with Bob Myers, Mike Green on hand. We're so excited, though, that the regular seasons, it's just right around the corner. So you never know what you're going to get in the final preseason game. But both these teams still have some decisions to make in terms of rotations and even some, in some ways, the starting lineups. Let's go with the Golden State Warriors. For them, we know what we have in Steph Curry. But in terms of key guys this year going forward. Jonathan Kaminga is somebody that has to continue to progress the way he did last year. And I think we talked about it with Steve Kerr. If who's going to be that second guy? And he mentioned Kaminga and Wiggins. And Wiggins was that second guy, Mike, in 2022. He really was the second best player on a championship team. But this guy right here, Jonathan Kaminga, who's actually negotiating a deal right now or trying to, is he going to step up and take the next step? He had a great second half of the season. He's exactly what the Warriors need. But he's got to rise up and gain the trust of Steve Kerr to be that second guy behind Steph Curry. Meanwhile, the Lakers have similar situation. They need a number of guys to step up behind LeBron James and Anthony Davis. There will no stars will, will play at all tonight for the Lakers. In fact, their top six won't. So you're going to see a lot of the reserves, including Dalton Connect, the rookie from Tennessee. Already he's shown he's going to be part of this rotation. Well, look, last night, also a preseason game, he had 25 points in the fourth quarter and in overtime. He can shoot the ball, and J.J. Redick told us both he's going to put him in the rotation, and that's rare for a rookie on a veteran team for a coach to be saying this guy's going to be in the rotation. But, Mike, he does one thing extremely well, and that's shoot the ball, and every team can use that skill. A lot of the support players will get extra opportunities, extra minutes, extra touches. LeBron James is not playing, but Bronny James is, and he is starting. Final preseason game, Lakers and the Warriors, as we send it back to the studio. Mike, Bob, thank you so very much. Welcome inside our Los Angeles studios. He's the master of the breakdown, Tim Legler. He's our NBA champion, Kendrick Perkins. I'm Malika Andrews. And while we are so excited that we're getting this final preseason game between the Lakers and the Warriors today, but right now we're getting you set for the Warriors and the Lakers. Bronny James getting his first start of the preseason here with Dad as a DMP. What is JJ ready to say? Let's see, let's see if he's ready to get his feet hot tonight. DMP old, that's what JJ said. <laughs> A gorgeous Friday night in San Francisco as the final preseason games being played around the NBA with opening night next week as we welcome you to the NBA on ESPN presented by Popeyes. Warriors and Lakers, they played Tuesday in Vegas and they'll both finish up their exhibition schedule here tonight. Our starting lineups also brought to you by Popeyes. And yes, that's the starting lineups for tonight's Lakers. Their top six not playing. We do have a James. It's Bronny James, Quincy Oliveri, the rookie who's had some nice moments in the preseason. Cam Reddish and Jackson Hayes will both be in the rotation for J.J. Reddick, so important minutes for them. Meanwhile, Steph Curry is out. Just a minor little finger injury, so he's sitting this one out, getting ready for the opener. De'Anthony Melton, of course, one of the new players and might be a very important player for the Golden State Warriors this season. A bunch of new faces for Steve Kerr. So a night off for Anthony Davis and LeBron James. They did not have the night off last night as the Lakers actually went to overtime. They committed the unwritten code of going to overtime in a preseason game. Well, it wasn't those two guys. They weren't responsible for it. It was Dalton Connect, and we'll see if we see him out here tonight. But he had a huge evening last night in Phoenix. 35 points for the rookie. Went shopping for a new hat today, apparently. Uh, yeah, well, I think he can wear whatever he wants. <laughs> I think our Mr. James can do that. And there's Connect. Get a good look at that young man because he's going to be a part of the rotation. He is ready, NBA ready, as coaches like to say right now. Meanwhile, for Golden State, they have not played since Tuesday, but tonight's still part of the decision-making process. Steve Kerr's got a lot of decisions to make on who starts and who's in the rotation. And the season 